These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? I'm Grim Green and this, this right here is the Pure Max Pod Kit from SX Mini. This is, holy cow, I'm not trying to spoil the review right now, but holy cow, this is a good pod. I'm not gonna say it yet, but this could this could be pot of the year. N not even joking. This could be pot of the year. It vapes so good. The flavor is so pronounced, so crispy, so flavorful. Like I said, this is SX and it uses temperature control to guarantee no dry hits will ever happen to you. And there's nothing you have to do. There's no settings that I have to put in. It just works. It just, it just happens. The pods themselves don't look like traditional pods that like I am used to with pod systems. They're a bit bigger. They're a bit deeper. They have a large, large silicone plug on the bottom to prevent filling. And if you look at the bottom, there's sort of two holes in it, you can't even see any contacts. On the inside of the battery, there's corresponding spokes that are gonna go straight up into the pod. There's no wrong way to put this in. And what those spokes do is guarantee a really very solid connection. This relies on temperature readings. The one thing that I have to do to make sure that this functions properly is if I'm putting a pod into this battery, boop, it has to be cold. It can't be vaped. It can't be a little bit warm. It needs to be a cold, warm, cold, warm. It needs to be a cold room temperature pod. When the pod slides in here, it takes a base level temperature reading. It uses that base level temperature reading throughout the life of the pod. That's how it prevents dry hits. I've taken these pods down to below empty, like lower than I would vape other pods. No, nope, no dry hits. Just, it just doesn't fire. It just stops. The Pure Max is bigger than a lot of other pods that I'm used to using. Although the trend right now in pods, they do seem to be all growing a little bit. We've seen releases from other companies where it's like, well, we used to have this pod and now it's like a bigger, fatter kind of version of that same pod. So this doesn't feel completely out of place, like in the realm of pods. Despite its size, it's not too heavy, which means you guessed it, it can be hands-free, totally hands-free all day long. It's hard to explain this vape experience. This pod vape experience isn't like other pods that I've had. This is kind of truly next level. The airflow switch on this, flawless, just flawless. I can run the 0.6 ohm, you know, Pure Max coil head in here with the airflow full open just fires right away, springs to life every single time. I can have any draw I want, whether it's tight or way open, because I like it kind of all over the place, and I never have to worry about the auto switch firing. I mean, I never have to worry about it not firing. I'm saying it always fires flawlessly. Like I said, this is the 0.6. I can open it way up. I can do some like restricted direct lung. I can do a mouth to lung without even really adjusting the airflow. I can adjust the airflow down a little bit, tighten it up, make it a nice tight mouth to lung. It can get nice and tight and still stays really, really very enjoyable. I think right now what I'm most impressed with are these pods that the flavor, you know, it is really good. I am just really overly very impressed with these pods. This pod in particular has been going since I was in the United Kingdom. We are well over 2000 puffs on this right now. And I'm not joking when I say this, it feels brand new still. It feels like I just filled this pod up. It has showed no signs of slowing down. I mean, hasn't even degraded a little. The airflow hasn't changed. The crispiness hasn't changed. The flavor hasn't changed. It feels brand new. I'll say it again. It still feels brand new. That is something that's kind of unique. I've never really experienced that before. I mean, 2000 puffs and it still feels brand new. I've had pods recently that have gone 600 puffs, 500 puffs and felt like they were about to die. The functionality of it Honestly, it's a pod system. It couldn't be easier. I am counting dots for my battery level, but 
I don't know. Counting dots has never really, really bothered me. There's four dots on here, so obviously, if they're all the way filled, that's the battery that's full. When it gets down to the last dot, you're in like that, hey, it's like 15% charged right now, let's recharge it. It's never a mystery as to where my battery is. I can adjust four power settings as well by pressing and holding the button and cycling through with the top being the highest wattage setting and the bottom being the lowest wattage setting. It doesn't tell me exactly what those wattage settings are. I've just been adjusting it to taste, but it has a range of 12 to 25 watts, plenty of power. Nothing about it feels overclocked. I can turn the wattage down and it actually feels like I'm turning the wattage down. And honestly, one of my favorite things about all of this, about this whole pod kit, is that it uses a 510 drip tip. How spectacular is that? I rarely, rarely get to put my own 510 drip tip in a pod system and being able to do that it really just makes me enjoy this pod on a whole other level. It gets filled with a rubber fill port on the side. It's a four mil capacity. I haven't noticed any what I would call leaking or weeping or seeping or anything like that, assuming that like I always say, whenever I fill this up, whenever I fill up any pod, really just keep my play area clean. I wipe it off. I wipe out maybe the inside of the battery a little bit. A, a clean rig is a happy rig, I'm told. Like some other pods after a lot of excessive use, if I look down in the battery, eh, sure, you know, maybe I can see some few little spittles of liquid here and there, just some random condensation. But again, nothing that I would call leaking in any capacity. In fact, let's just put this brand new, completely empty pod right into this turned on and fully functioning battery. If I try to take a drag, all these lights are just gonna light up at the same time telling me, no, you can't, there's no liquid, it's gonna burn. Yep, sorry, I just think that's cool. And not only is it cool, it works. It works perfectly. It works without flaw. Okay, I need to stop gushing about this and just hand out some banana stickers. I think we know where this is headed. I'm gonna call this pot of the year. It's getting an undeniable 10 banana stickers. In fact, if I could squeak, you know, the top end up to maybe a 10 and a half or an 11 banana stickers, I would, but the top is 10. So this is, I mean, this was the easiest, most confident 10 banana stickers I think I've ever given a vape device. I was impressed with this from the first toot that I took until right now, it's continuing to impress me. I have a pods ranked video, hopefully coming up before the end of the year. Yeah, well, hopefully before the end of the year. And I just get the feeling that this SX Pure Max pod is just going to wipe the floor with all of my pods and it's gonna completely disrupt the pod rankings. Now, I can't tell you exactly how much these cost, but I have seen them across a few places for under $40, which is, that's, I mean, that's no real vape budget hands considering the quality of device that you're getting, the quality of pod that we're getting. And the last thing I can tell you is if you are someone right now who smokes cigarettes, hi, it's 2024, better living through science, better living through technology. Now's the time to switch. I believe in you. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free just literally every single effing day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. The temperature can check on if I try to trick it if I